Hello, and welcome to my channel on budget planning, debt payoff, and life in general. My name is Erin, and my husband and I are on a debt-free journey to pay all $44,000 of our consumer debt in 2021. Today is a check-in video for week four of January, and seeing how we did with our cash and our digital spending, spoiler alert, we did do better than we did in week two. So, as always, chapters are in the progress bar and timestamps are in the description, but let's get started and see how we did. So this week was very much a non-typical week for us. I had an appointment with my specialist on Monday. He said, you're your blood tests and your numbers really aren't looking too good. I had a few other issues going on. It's just really fatigue. He goes, you know, you, you're going to need to come into hospital for a couple days. And so, okay, fine. Um, he was like, you're coming in on Wednesday morning. I'm like, that's a bit short notice. So I'll, but you should be out on Friday. No big deal. So I pulled out the money really a day early. I did the shop a day early. So that showed up on last week's on last week's budget. And I was actually thinking to myself, this is a good thing because if I'm in hospital, I'm not spending money, uh, really. So I should have a lot of no spend days because what else, I mean, what am I going to buy? So that was that was my plan while, while there. And I figured, oh, well, I've got some food for the guys and then I'll just give them additional money so that they can top up. So that is, that is where we started at on the 20th. So prior to going in, I left my husband with $200 in cash for groceries. That was out of the 350, but deducted 25 because we were over last week. So gave him 200 in cash, figured that's going to be enough because they are complete garbage guts when I'm gone. I did have our yearly excess. Things like the vehicle insurance and the pool, those just, you know, went along as normal, those automatic expenses. For the January savings challenge, since I knew I was going to be saving on groceries, I just put the $20 from the grocery towards that. And then come Friday morning when... I'm looking forward to discharge. Things still are not looking good. I had gotten an additional infection. And he's like, you're gonna be here through the weekend at least until Monday. I don't mind a, a two, you know, a two night, three day stay in hospital, but anything over that and I just start getting really, yeah, well in there, but um, you know, I mean, yeah, I could leave, but that'd be stupid. So listen to my doctor. And we had all of our restrictions lifted that day as well because we had COVID restrictions going on here. So I wasn't able to have any visitors. So my husband came up to visit and then he was also asked for um, more cash because he was running low and I didn't even want to know. Didn't, didn't even ask where it went, what it got spent on, nothing. Um, because really it's just, it's none of my business. Once it changes hands, it's his. The My car also needed fuel as well. That was $85. Paid $1.52 per liter. So those prices are continuing to go up. Um, that was on Sunday. On Monday, uh, yay, I was discharged with a whole bunch of new medicines to go home with me. $150 for those. That is the only thing that we pay full out of pocket for unless you have a concession card. So Medicare doesn't cover prescriptions and um, private doesn't cover prescriptions, but we do have a nominated prescription scheme. That's why we have that money put away for it. Also because my my son was the one to come and get me on Monday and then he had to take me up to work for a meeting, hang around in my office and then drive me home. I just gave him 10 bucks. He was able to pop over to the pub on campus and just grab, you know, a pint and a burger for $10. And so I got that for him mobile phone came out and then I finally got a chance to go grocery shopping on the Tuesday. As I said, all of my vegetables had gone bad. So I needed to hop up on produce and a few other things. So just a quick $30 for that. Um, canned air for cleaning out our keyboards, 20 bucks that came out of household. 
Our weekly extra debt payment was $359, and that was in my Transfer Tuesday update. Um, if you haven't seen that, I will link it up above here, here, yeah, something like that. And then because I knew I was going to be slightly over for the health, I transferred $3 out of the docs fund to the health fund just to cover that $3 difference. Um, so heaps of white space. Love how it worked out. You'll notice that neither the loan nor the mortgage are in this one. They were supposed to come out and that's because the 26 was a public holiday. So sitting pretty well in terms of, of our overall um, spending. So 359 on debt. 286 on expenses, 310 on groceries. So even with that deficit, we still came in under budget. It can be done. I can break up my shops into smaller shops and, and work with that. My family can stay away from vegetables and not snack on them. Um, they had no problem when I wasn't here. Household was 20, health 650. But again, all money that we had set aside three for the dogs and 85 for fuel. And that gave us a grand total for in spending of uh, $1,713. So as compared to some previous year, uh, not years, well, yes, years as well, weeks, it's the lowest that we've had. So we had 4,000, whoops, can't see that, 4,250 and then Last week was 2,759 and then 1,713. So yeah, nothing to, um, nothing to snub your nose at. And looking at our, at my overall view, now I don't know how other people do their nose spend. I've been, I've been going, you know, to and froing on how to do it. But I decided for me, I am going to, I'm going to classify a nose spend as days where I do no unplanned, even if needed, grocery shopping, household shopping, or just spending. Things like fuel, transport. If we need fuel, we need fuel. Not pushing it running on fumes. So that, thanks to a hospital stay, kept me under budget and gave me one, two, three, four, five no spend days. Uh, I was pretty happy with that. Not, not gonna lie. You can see where other things had come out. So again, pretty, you know, pretty happy. And if I compare that with our, what we were expecting to spend, you know, really not too far off. So pay again, 1,029, we had that extra over um, from my son and then 500. Again, anytime I transfer, whoops, anytime I transfer from one account uh, you know, a savings of some sort to another, I just count that as income. So that was the only new thing that came in. Still ended up paying that $359 to debt and we had a zero based budget. Woohoo! That made me happy. That brings us to then my little tracker that I made because trackers are fun for no spend days. So I had five of those and I decided to go with unicorns. So one, two, three, four, five that I get to color in. And I'm just gonna do that real quick and I will fast track you through it. Okay, and yeah, I am I am a I am a grown woman in my mid 40s and I get excited over having a unicorn tracker for my no spend days. I really want to color in my unicorns. Um crazy the the little different the different little things that work. Looking good, I think, for the no spends. That then brings us to our sinking funds and nothing coming out of the sinking funds this week but also nothing being added so no change and that comes to what does that come to so five thousand eight hundred and fifteen and yes i will double check that because i am forever making mistakes but as you can see i have in my notes next week is when health changes to a sinking fund 
from being a digital envelope just because some months I'll use it, some months I won't, but it, it needs to be there. So finally, then our cash envelopes. And again, an area where I think we're doing, we're doing quite nicely. So our groceries, we, you know, we started off at negative 25, added 350, spent 310, had 15, that $5 obviously went into my $5 challenge. Household 2020, so that is uh, at zero, spend nothing, so 35. I was good, I did no online shopping while I was in hospital. You know how tempting it is to do online shopping but then there's really nothing else to do? Yeah. Um, I was good. The dogs, they only had $3 taken out, so that gives them 97. Fuel, uh, 244, 85, so 159 left. Nothing out of transport. And then health, um, had 147 in there, needed 150, so took the three from the dogs. We are sitting at 572, heading into the final week because we do have one last the way I'm doing our budget what works for us we have one last paycheck from January 27th through February I think February 2nd anywho so that will be what we check in on on next week I, another week down one week to go left in January uh, we are making progress we are getting better we are figuring out what works for us so it is onward and upward for this journey so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a like if you want to continue following our journey feel free to subscribe thank you to all of my subscribers so far feel free to drop a comment about anything you like how is how is your budget going how's you know how are things going for you how's your weather um you know just you do a you know do a check in. I hope everybody is doing well and in good health and in the best possible spirits that they can be in on any particular day. As always, remember to choose kindness, show gratitude, and always keep a positive mindset. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.